up guys, Austin Newman here with Learning 5 where you can learn After Effects tutorials in just 5 minutes or less. Today we're going to be learning about Long Shadows, which is a flat design that you can use to pump up some of your compositions. We're going to be learning how to do this move right here, just to kind of add a little depth to any of your new compositions. And we're going to go ahead and jump right in, Command N for a new composition, 1920 by 1080 HD settings, frame rate of 24 frames per second. Those are my settings, just so you know. Now you can do this with a shape or a text layer. We're going to start with a text layer for this lesson's sake, and I'm going to go ahead and type in shadow. I'm using Futura Bold for my font, by the way. Use the Align tool to get that right in the middle there. Go ahead and go to your text layer, select and right click to bring up this panel here. We're going to go ahead and create shapes from text. Now what we want to do is go ahead and duplicate this layer. And the top one, we're going to hit enter while that's selected to rename it. And we're going to name this text. And the bottom layer, we're going to hit enter rename that one shadow now go down to your shadow layer toggle this down go to add repeater go to the repeater go ahead and toggle this down go to transform now we have all of our settings here I'm gonna go ahead and go one second in just for the timing of this whole thing we're gonna go ahead and put a keyframe on copies put a keyframe on position going to go ahead and increase our copies. Let's go about 100. And for position, we're going to go 1.0 and 1.0 to add a really nice depth there to it. Now let's go ahead and go to the two second marker for one full second and go ahead and put a keyframe on both of those again. And with the shadow layer selected, go up here to fill and let's darken that a little bit just so we can distinguish the difference. There we go, so it's starting to come together. Now go back to your first keyframe for copies and hit a value of zero. That will give it a nice extrusion. Now what we wanna do is give the illusion of light, a light source moving from maybe this side and then down this way. In order to do that, let's go ahead and go one more second in, just for the sake of the timing. Go ahead and put another keyframe on both of these and go one more second to the four second mark put a keyframe on both of those. Now for the position, go ahead and put in a value of negative one. And what that'll do is move it like this. But it doesn't look right. It still doesn't have any depth to it. It just looks like the shadow is just simply moving, but there's not really a light source to it. So let's go ahead and go to 12 frames in at a 24 second timeline. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the copies. Let's go ahead and increase this by about 50% and that will give you that little bit of depth that you want to kind of look more like a faux light is there. So now that you have that, let's go ahead and highlight all of these keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. What that'll do is just add a little bit more realism to this. Let's go to these first four, select those, go to your graph editor right here. And if you don't see this graph, go down here, click on this and make sure you are on the speed graph. Let's go ahead and zoom in, plus, plus sign to punch in a little bit. Go ahead and select these keyframes right here, grab this, and pull it to the side. What that's going to do is kind of edge it out a little bit more so it'll come out a little bit quicker and then slow down. It's just a nice little effect that I like to put on things just to kind of add a little bit more depth to it. And that's how you do a long shadow and move it around with the faux light. It's something that you can do to your text or maybe a shape layer to add a little bit of extra value to anything you were working on. So if this tutorial helped you, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more After Effects tutorials where you can learn it in five minutes or less. Thank you guys for joining me. If you want to check out more of my work, you can find my work on Instagram at Austin Makes Films. I love checking out you guys' work too and seeing what you guys are working on in After Effects. So until next time, guys, we'll see you later. Baby